Hello guys, welcome to Tech with Viresh. And uh, in the continuation of our series on Apache Spark Deep Dive, today we'll look at what are stages in the Spark job execution. So let's start. So let's quickly look at uh, what is what is a stage in a Spark. It is actually the physical unit of execution. And uh, when we say physical like unit of execution, uh, this is the place where actually the functionality or the operation is applied on the partition of data so this is one of the step in the physical execution plan the stage is in other words is nothing but a, a collection of different tasks tasks uh, will run on each partition of the underlying data frame or rdd and stages are collected in the form of job We'll relate all this, then how the internals of the Spark uh, works and how these different terminologies are connected. But uh, just to look at stage for now, it is a physical unit of execution. So it is one of the step in physical execution plan. And in very simple terms, it is the place where the execute, where the actual execution of the function or the operation is performed on a particular partition of data. So there are two categories of stage in the Spark world shuffle map stage is the one shuffle map stage and the result stage we'll again look at each of them in detail but at a very high level shuffle map stage you can relate with the map uh, part of the map reduce and result stage you can relate it with the reduce part of the map reduce paradigm so shuffle map will perform different transformations and eventually all of that will go as an input to the result stage uh, or in the other words result stage actually uh, triggers the shuffle map stage on the different stages as per the job created and the result stage is the pointer which is initiated by the action that you call in particular spark job so remember this particular diagram where we discuss the internals of the spark how a particular spark job is uh, uh, taken care of under the hood so as soon as you call any action because uh, the entire spark is lazily evaluated right as soon as you call any action uh, that action will create a job and job is nothing but the collection of different tasks so these tasks will be operated on these different rdd lineage and graph that we'll have this these tasks will be operated on these and these tasks are collected in the stages and stage boundaries are defined on the fact that uh, what are the shuffle in the uh, in the operations that we're going to uh, apply if in case those are wide operations the, uh, we would have different stages Right, and then these tasks would go to the individual executors where they will be performed on the different partitions of data. Now let's try to relate how exactly the what exactly is this staging and what is what happens in this stage. So uh, when you call an any action, job is created, that job will create uh, stages based on the shuffle boundaries and stages in turn will have their own uh, stage dependency or stage hierarchy uh, one stage will be related to a previous stage and that's how they are dependent or maybe dependent on multiple previous stages so we can what is trying to say essentially is we can associate a stage with many other dependent parent stage it depends what kind of operations you apply so for instance if i call a very simple query which says select a star from table t1 or then i operate uh, apply a function called say reduce by key you know or something like a group by key so i'll obviously have two stages right here for a group by uh, whatever would be the select that will go as an input to the uh, group by and then group by functionality will be applied because that's a wide operation so I'll have two stages right and the data between the stages is passed to a function called exchange that is nothing but a shuffle 
and as soon as you <coughs> any stage is submitted or the stage of functionality is executed it will trigger a series of dependent parent stages so it will it will apply cascade all that execution depending uh, on the dependent parent task that is how the stage tree is maintained so if this is the snippet from the spark ui if you see these are the different stages created for a particular job and if you see this is the exchange this is how the data is flowing so if you see this particular job this is taking data from three previous stages this is taking data from these three previous stages so so these three happens to be the dependent stages for this particular stage then the data from this stage goes to this stage so then this one is the dependent stage for the next one that's how the entire stage dependency is maintained okay now as we have understood what is a stage at a high level nothing but a step in a physical execution or a physical unit of execution in the spark world so there are two type of stages as we have talked earlier the map side and the reduce side so first one is what we call as the shuffle map stage it's an intermediate stage as we discussed it's not the eventual state because result stage happens is the eventual stage where the actual materialization of the data and the operations happen uh, as we have seen there there could be a hierarchy of dependent stages so it produces data for the next stage that is uh the the data is exchanged uh between the two stages to a shuffle and it a particular stage will write the map output files which needs to go as as part of the shuffle to the next stage another thing uh, which is a very important thing is there is a feature in spark what we call as adaptive query planning so this is the configuration you by default it is uh, false it is disabled so you can make it true and what adaptive query planning does it based on the output of the shuffle map stages it can take some runtime decision in terms of like if the map output files produced by a particular shuffle map stage uh, then query which is a query plan which is created can be adapted or can be changed it may change itself say from a shuffle join to a broadcast join based on what kind of uh, uh, output is coming from a particular shuffle map stage Uh, it can if it sees that you know shuffle map stage produces some kind of data intermediate data map output files which is kind of skewed so it can take some measures to do uh, repartitioning or some effective measures to uh, counter that skewness or any sort of performance optimization based on this output can be taken if uh, by the by the methodology called adaptive query planning in the spark world so this is what we have as shuffle map stage is the first part where it uh, will apply functionalities on uh, the partitions of rdd or data frame and produces the output files which goes as an input to the next stage and eventually the last stage will send its input back to the result stage that that's the second type of stage web what we have in the spark now if you look at this this is how it operates you call an action based on that action a job is created a uh, job is nothing but a collection of what stages now there are two type of stages inside it would be one would be the result stage and second one would be the shuffle stage shuffle stage will operate on the entire uh, stage dependencies that we have from say 0 to n and uh, that are uh, the eventual uh, map output file produced by all these stages will be processed by the result stage so if you see here so you have different rdds where you apply different transformations and based on transformations you know another set of rdds produced on which you say apply another set of transformations and uh, you have some newer set of rdds produced as rdds are immutable uh each transformation will result in a new rdd and eventually you call some action on top of that which will result in the creation of a job and uh, inside job stages would be created based on the shuffle boundaries if it is a white transformation it will go into a different stage and it will initiate the result stage and we have two stages right result stage and the result stage in itself will take uh, will initiate the shuffle map stage shuffle map stage 
will process all the dependent hierarchy of stages, all the parent stages, and the output will be sent back to result stage to perform the reduce part. And that's how the data would be processed. So as we have already discussed, result stage is the part which would be first initiated by the action. Anytime you call an action, a job is created inside that job. A result stage would be initiated when it with in itself cascade for the execution of shuffle map stages. Shuffle map stage will process all the dependence hierarchy of the different stages and the output would be sent back to the result stage, which will eventually return the output for that particular action applied. So it is the stage which helps for the computation of the actual result as we have seen. So <clears throat> you have your action. Action creates a job. Job in itself is collection of different stages, right? Stages. And then what are stages? Stages and stages in itself are collection of tasks. Task is the lowest level of execution, right? Task will be executed per partition, per core. Now stage has two types. One is the shuffle, right? Another one is the result. So result initiate shuffle. Shuffle will process entire its dependent stages. Submit the result back to the back to the uh, result stage, and result stage will submit back uh, result computed data back to the job and eventually to the action performed. So one action, one job, one stage, multiple tasks, and each task will need one dedicated core. That's how the entire ecosystem is. So guys, that's what we have in uh, uh, the stage uh, detailing of the Spark job. Again, I'm reiterating, just remember one point, the entire flow per action, there will be one job created. One action, one job. One job would create multiple stages. Each stage is nothing but a collection of tasks. Stages are of two kind. The entire stage uh, operation is divided into two parts, right? One is a shuffle map stage. Second one is the result map stage. And then the task would be executed data will result back for that particular action. So guys, that's it in this particular video. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye-bye.